Hello, I'm George Akel from Govern HR. In this second video of this series, I will focus on the first steps in the journey towards selecting a payroll vendor. I call this step looking inwards. It's essentially looking at what you've got at the moment. So the first step, uh, what are your payroll components? Deductions, overtime, commission, bonuses, weekly, fortnightly, monthly, etc. Describe your payroll. Secondly, how does your payroll process hang together? Identify the handoffs. What are the inputs? What are the outputs? How many are manual? Uh, how many are automated? Thirdly, define the payroll governance structure that you have in place. What are your controls over payroll? The entry, the processing, the checking, segregation of duties, those types of things. Fourth, I like this one, it's very important, is list out the errors over the past 12 months. This gives you an idea of where gaps are in your process and within your system itself. Five, list out your footprint, the number of geographic locations you're in and the types of employees you have within each of those, contractors, award staff, unionized staff, uh, part-time, full-time, etc. Sixth, list out the local data legislation for each of these locations. What are the cross-border data transfer rules? What are the data storage rules, data security, data privacy, etc. Seventh, if you're paying offshore, list out the currencies, the banks you use, the current payment method, how you treat exchange rate exposures, and how you handle offshore invoicing. Eighth, I would list out all the payroll interfaces you have internally, you know, HCM, general ledger, externally to banks, to pension funds, tax authorities, labor office, etc., whatever they may be. Nine, list out all the reporting that comes out. This is one that people often forget. Um, separate into external, being regulatory reporting, uh, and internal. Highlight who the recipients are, what the contents, and who you, what they use them for. Tenth, Detail the current payroll vendor relationship. Um, what are the running costs? Uh, what does it cost for upgrades? What does it cost for special pay runs? Uh, what's the turnaround time for um, issues and complaints and uh, uh, problems that you may have? What's the notice period? for the contract itself. Um, what's the handover process? Do they have a handover process? Is there one agreed that they would uh, hand over the data in a methodical and, and professional manner? I mean, most payroll vendors will. At GovernHR, we've conducted this process um, across large, medium, and small payrolls across single and multi-location uh, payroll system implementations. So benefit from our experience, partner with our expertise, contact us for an obligation-free and cost-free chat about your payroll needs or about any other HR or HR governance needs. Keep a lookout for the next video in this series. Thanks for watching. Cheers and goodbye.